that's my point. You guys are getting ungrateful. You guys have lost sight of the fact that our bodies were perfectly designed to have sex with you anatomically. Whatever you believe in, say it's evolution or God, say you believe in God. God perfectly designed the female body to have sex with you, right? Vagina here, perfect placement. <laughs> Boobs here if you want a little. <laughs> perfect. The head moves back and forth in case you don't want to look at her face. God thought of everything. And then God was putting the female body together and I was like, ugh, there's this other hole. It's a terrible hole. Horrible things come out of it. It's awful. We can't put it in the front or else men would never have sex with women. God's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna put it in the back in like a ravine. <laughs> I'm gonna put big pieces of fat on either side of it. He'll never even know it's there. She can walk away naked. He'll never see it. It's genius. Genius. The female body is complete. <laughs> Cut to God looking down now. A guy's like, eh, eh, eh. God's like, oh my God. How do they even find it? I hid that thing pretty well. They're animals. No, mm-mm, nope, nope, mm -uh. No, not squirting, nope. We're starting a movement here tonight. Hashtag no squirting, get it going. No, you know why? It's you guys are pushing it now. You're ungrateful, you're spoiled, and you're pushing it. Like, do our bodies not do enough amazing things, enough miraculous things? We can make a life, we can get pregnant, we can breastfeed our babies, we can give you orgasms. Now you want us to put out fires. It's too much. That's too much. And I'm a pretty slutty person. The fact that there's something I won't do, that's bad. That is off the grid, okay? I'll do anything. I will literally do anything because I'm fun. I am fun. Okay? I'll do anything. What do you want? Spank me. Great. Go for it. I will try not to laugh, but go for it. <laughs> Choking, that's the new thing. Everyone's got to get choked now. Choke me. Great. Choke me. I'll even throw in a little... Uh... <laughs> I'm fun. I'm fun. But you're pushing it now. Okay? I'm not squirting. Who has time for that, okay? I'm not gonna clean up squirts, no. I have a job, I don't have time for that. You gotta go to Home Depot, you gotta get a tarp, you gotta put the tarp down, my bedroom looks like Dexter's garage. I'm not living that way. Was sex not awkward enough before squirting? Do you remember the awkward talk before sex? You used to be like, hey, do you have a condom? Now it's like, hey, do you have a sham wow? <laughs> Shit's about to get crazy. You don't want me to squirt. You do not want me to squirt, because if I could squirt, I would use it for evil all the time. <laughs> Anytime I was in my boyfriend's car, I'd be like, you sure you want to text that girl back? <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm worried. I'm worried for the next generation of boys. Because now, guys and their teenage kids, they, they watch porn now before they ever actually see a naked woman. Before they ever actually have sex, they're watching porn, and they think that's gonna happen. They think that women are just these human Bellagio fountains, <laughs> just squirting constantly. They think they're gonna walk into that. Remember, our generation of boys, they would show up to lose their virginity with like a rose. Now kids show up to lose their virginity, just a snorkel, an umbrella, just flippers. 